Gohan, how are your studies going? Uh, okay, I guess. You lost a lot of ground during your little excursion to Namek. We've got to get you caught up. Yeah, but I've been studying so much, I don't think I can cram anything else in. Oh, all right then. Fine, you can run outside for a breather, but make sure you don't take too long. Got it? <laughs> Thanks. Yes, soon. Hey! Hi! <laughs> no? <laughs> hey! Later! Huh? Hi there! Hello? Hey! <laughs> Thank you! Time to... Ah, uh, Mom's always worried about me. Well then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Ready to hit the books again, Gohan? That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure. Hurry back, Dad. Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! Frieza, it's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive. N hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. Y you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? Y you 
gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! Did Frieza survive? How in the world did Frieza survive? Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? And to think we're going up against him again. So, this Frieza guy, he's really that tough, huh? Oh no! What are we going to do? That key is unbelievable! I came to get a peek at that Frieza guy. I never got a chance while we were on freeze. You actually held your own against someone that powerful? First, we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yes! So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. 
What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! <laughs> Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got! Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you! Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Prepare to die! The only one dying is you. Die! Possible. Those two huge powers, they're both gone. What in the world is going on? 
One way to find out. Keep your go- Right! I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku! You're more than welcome to join me! What? <laughs> He's gonna show up right over there! If you're coming, then follow me! So, what do we do? Uh, uh... Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. Like a bad guy. Um, so how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask, you were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? H how did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. So, What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after It'll all. be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. Huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I guess I'd better go talk to him. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Huh? 
Just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm gonna be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giraud. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them, I struggled to make it out alive. 
Wait. Uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years. <laughs>